In Premiere Pro, you can use the auto reframe sequence option to help prepare your project for different social media rasters. Here inside my project panel, I've selected my surfer for social sequence that's currently active. And from the sequence menu, I'm going to choose auto reframe sequence. A dialog box shows up, allowing us to target a specific aspect ratio. Since I want to share this on Instagram, I'll choose a vertical nine by 16 format with the sequence name following the original sequence and under motion tracking, I am going to choose default. For clip nesting, I'm gonna stay with the default options of don't nest clips to replace any current motion adjustments that I have on my existing assets within my sequence. Once I click on create, a new bin has been created with your auto reframe sequence inside of it. And that also opens inside your timeline above your existing sequence. If I head over to the surfer setting shot, you see that the auto reframe sequence has done a great job trying to frame my surfer. With this clip selected, I'll press shift five to reveal the effect controls of auto reframe sequence, noting that it has moved the position of this clip over to the left in order to keep the surfer in frame. If I have the auto reframes effect selected, you'll see that it's also applied some automatic keyframing to my shot in order to have that subject within the frame. I'm gonna to move to the end of the timeline with my final shot and with auto reframe sequence selected, take a look at the bounding box of the entire clip and see that there's also been some subtle motion applied to this in order to keep my subject in frame. You can also choose to overwrite your generated path of keyframes, which will reveal the adjust position that is protected from view. I'll actually head back over to my third clip here in the timeline and in effect controls, click on overwrite generated path to reveal the keyframes. I'll move a little bit into the shot, making sure I'm on this existing keyframe by twirling down the adjust properties and using the arrows to go to the next keyframe. I'm gonna scrub the X value while holding down shift to adjust the position in faster increments. I'll get rid of the two keyframes to the right of this and then keep the framing of my subject where the pan just happens earlier within the shot. Also with this keyframe, I'll right click it and under temporal interpolation, choose to ease into it. Now adding an ease in, will have the pan slow down as we approach the keyframe. I'll twirl up my adjust position properties and give this clip a play back, looking at the new framing. With any clip, you can select it again and overwrite the generated path in order to adjust the position keyframes that have automatically been applied with the auto reframe effect. And that is how you can prepare your projects for social media of a different raster using the auto reframe sequence option inside of Adobe Premiere Pro.